The following is a paid commercial program. Unless otherwise identified, the guests on the program are employees of or otherwise represent the advertiser. The opinions expressed therein are those of the advertiser and do not necessarily reflect the views and policies of Global News Radio 640 Toronto. Good Sunday morning and welcome to Your Life, Your Money. I am Chris Creston, joined as always by Kelvin, the money guy. You can always visit Kelvin's website, askkelvin.ca. That's ask K E L V I N dot C A. And don't forget, you can give him a call, 416 416- Four five seven seven five two six. That's four one six four five seven. Plan. If you've never listened to the show before, we talk about your life and your money. We talk about the intersection of those things, and uh, your life has changed a lot over the last year and a half, and your money life has changed a lot. I'm sure as well. Uh, some people more than others, and some people uh, negatively, and other people positively, and it's meant a lot of changes for the landscape of how we do so many things. We're rethinking how we work. We're rethinking how we shop. We're rethinking how we vacation unfortunately and um but we're also rethinking sort of how we invest and that is where we go join kelvin the money guy on this topic you know what does the future hold for investors for investment planners financial advisors uh, and i think that a lot of advisors listening right now have uh something to learn from listening to this show as well as we you know, delve into where the future and the landscape is for financial advisors, for clients who are seeking help with their investments and really ultimately want to get the best return on those investments and start planning for their life, for their families, for their futures, for their future retirement. Kelvin, save me. I'm rambling. (laughs) Kelvin, the money guy is here. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Good, good. You know, I, it's, I have so many changes going on in my life personally Mm -hmm. uh, right now, and it's hard to keep track of so many things. Uh, So much of it is going digital. So much of what uh, we've done, whether it comes to, you know, I'm moving. So I've had to sign all kinds of documents digitally um, Mm -hmm. and it's changed so much of, of our lives. And it's, and I'm sure that the way that I did things this year would have been completely different if I had a, uh, bitten the bullet and decided to move a year and a half ago. Um, Kelvin, are those kinds of changes, the kinds of things that we're expecting to see when it comes to our financial advisors in the future? Yes. So we're starting to see changes now. It's been about 18 months and uh, we're starting to see a lot of shift in what Canadian investors are doing. In fact, there was a survey that was done and it says one in five Canadian investors plan to switch wealth providers over the next three years. And a lot of things came out of that, uh, that survey from what we found. Um, you know, clients are looking to transfer a third of their assets from one firm to another, switch advisors, things like that. And, and it's really sh- shocking to see some of the, um, why they're doing it, some of the five things why they're doing it. And you would think from all the commercials we see on TV, especially during the, the, the Euro Cup, it was always about, um, you know, quest trade, how cheaper it is to deal with them and things like that. And only 10% of people, um, cost was a factor in moving. In really? fact, 26% of the people that were surveyed um, gave um, investment performance as the primary reason for, le- for leaving where they are from one firm to another. Another 26% says the changes was brought about by the COVID pandemic. And I guess I could see that point because when you typically, and not to pick on banks, but typically when you deal with the bank, you have to make an appointment Mm -hmm. and you got to go in and you got to do all these things. Well, typically people don't want to do that anymore. They want, what they want is, is to do things online. And I can tell you personally with my practice, I was the last guy to think about all this computer stuff because I'm so old fashioned in my way. I like paper, I like to do all that kind of stuff. And in fact, we already don't do any paper anymore. It's all done through DocuSign. So you can, you know, lawyers are using it, banks, every, everyone's using it. So I think what's happening is uh, the, the investor wants more diversification. 
cost, yes, 10% of people look at cost. So it's not really the main factor. I think what it is, is they're looking for ways to do things more efficiently, to get things done you know, quickly at the snap of a finger kind of thing. So those are some of the changes of what they found. And you would think, you know, I say a thousand people are turning 65 every day in Canada, and you would think the older people don't want to adapt to the docky sign and stuff like that, but it's, it's not true. In fact, they're the ones who want to change from the bank and so on to deal with the independent financial advisor because we offer more, um, you know, more technology things for them to do. And the technology is protected by all these firewalls and all this, I don't know how it happens, but all that kind of stuff, right? So it's working out really well and it's really changed um, our lives. So people don't have to wait till six, seven in the, at nighttime to sign documents. They don't have to line up at the bank. They don't have to do all that kind of stuff that we're used to doing prior to the pandemic. So it's a really cool thing that's happening to our industry. I imagine maybe other industry also, but I can only speak for ours. And I think the advisors, from my opinion, um, that don't adapt to this new way and maybe blend some of the old with the new, um, you know, we'll, we'll fare very well. And the, and the investor is looking for that change. They're looking for, for that kind of stuff. So we're looking at change coming from, you know, different, different angles, different uh, people making these changes for different reasons. It's interesting. Like you mentioned, you know, we all watch, uh, TV and sports on TV and you see the mm-hmm. commercial and it's always the young guy who's uh, looking at his brother or something and it says right. something condescending back. Oh, you're not, you still using mom and dad's <laughs> guy, are you? Yeah. And the, yeah. the and the, what they're trying to pitch you on always is that you're not going to pay fees. You're not going to have to pay these extra costs in mm. order to get the, the help that you need to, to get that higher rate on your return. Um, but the, it's not necessarily that that's motivating people. It's the ease of access. And it's a, in, in your case, you know, you're talking about uh, people who are switching from banks to financial advisors and getting an independent financial advisor. It's also a personal touch, I'm sure, yeah. too. Yeah. Well, well, of all the, the survey was done, 76% of baby boomers um, that was surveyed what they indicated is they would prefer to use a single source financial service provider, so like an independent advisor, rather than using like the robo guide, like the robo advisors. Because remember, the robo thing has no feelings. Mm-hmm. They don't look into your eyes and see you to figure out things, you know. They don't look at your smile. They don't, they don't care about anything. So the perception around, around all of this money thing is it looks like we're going back to what we, what the older people are, are looking for. They're looking for more personal touch, a personal service. They're not looking for, you know, buying this product and so on. They're looking, so what can you, Calvin, what can you do for me? Like, how are you providing me a service? And, and the service we provide, it goes beyond buying a mutual fund or a segregated fund or a bond or whatever we buy. We really care about people, what they do, how are they feeling, um, you know, their family, how they're doing, things like that. And that's what people want from what I see. Um, when, when we do these shows, I meet people that come and see me after um, by Zoom or face-to-face. And the number one reason uh, people leave their advisors is because the advisor never, not, I shouldn't say never, but maybe get in touch with the client once a year. Mm-hmm. And I think through this pandemic, they're looking for more handholding because the markets, as you know, when we did our show back in 2019, I think when March, when the when it happened, you, you remember the markets, how much they went down and so on. And I think from that point, people really need the handholding. Yeah, and that's well- why. And to go on that roller coaster that a lot of people have seen, you know, and now you're able to go and ride an actual roller coaster in Wonderland. Uh, but that's the kind of you know roller coaster you want to ride. But the kind of roller coaster that uh, you know people went on was it March March 2020, and uh, to see the way that things were, went down, but then came right back up. We actually were able to see uh, I, that things were okay, but without mm-hmm. that personal touch, right. you panic. 
right? Without that personal touch and without someone there to, to say, hey, listen, don't worry, things are going to get better. Things are going to bounce back. Uh, stay invested. Keep in there. You're going to you're going to panic. You're going to pull out and then you're going to be a loser in the end. You're, you're going to you know, <laughs> not to call people losers, but you're going to lose your money. You're going to lose yeah. the, the, the market stake that you've had and the ability and the savings that you've uh, accumulated for your mm-hmm. retirement. And I can s- definitely see how baby boomers looking at all of that would want to be in touch with the person who is uh, who is handling their money because you've got retirement coming right up around the corner if mm-hmm. uh, if not already and you want to you want someone who understands your needs who's going to look at you see your family see your kids yeah. see all the needs that you know a retired person and when you think about a baby boomer right now you think about someone who's got dependents on both sides of them on both a lot sides. of them have their parents yeah. that they're taking care of they have their kids that they're still taking care of to a certain extent and mm-hmm. if not then they're sort of keeping a watchful eye and maybe feeding them some cash every now and then yeah. there's a lot to worry about when you are in that age bracket right i mean that's that's what they call the sandwich generation right mm-hmm. Where you're looking after your mom and dad and your own kids. So you're kind of sandwich in the middle and you have to deal with that. Interestingly enough, 56% of the, the boomers want an advisor led relationship with their firm. So they want to deal with an advisor. 20, 28% of them um, want a hybrid. And we'll talk about millenniums after, millennials after the break because there's a very big misconception with them when you watch these commercials. So after the break, I'll tell you percentages of millennials that want or don't want an advisor. Interesting. Getting into those misconceptions on the other side of the break. What do millennials want? We've touched on the boomers and we're talking about the future of financial services and where, how you get your investments done, how you get in touch with uh, your advisors and how you keep track of where your money is. You know, we're just, Kelvin just touched on this uh, study that says one in five Canadian investors plans to switch wealth providers. That is a big move for a lot of people. And it's happening uh, this year. It's happening right now. And it's happening for a number of different reasons. And we'll touch on those as we continue with your life, your money. Don't forget, you can visit Kelvin's website, askkelvin.ca. That's ask askkelvin.ca. And you can call him anytime, 416-457-7526. That's 416-457-PLAN. Stay tuned. A lot more. Your life, your money coming up on the other side here on Global News Radio 640 Toronto. You are listening to a paid commercial program. Unless otherwise identified, the guests on the program are employees of or otherwise represent the advertiser. The opinions expressed therein are those of the advertiser and do not necessarily reflect the views and policies of Global News Radio 640 Toronto. Good morning and welcome back to Your Life, Your Money with Kelvin, the money guy. My name is Chris Creston, and of course, I, I'm joined by the aforementioned Kelvin, the money guy. He is one of the top financial advisors in the country and a great guy to know and a great guy to have in your corner. And that is why we bring him to you here on 640 Toronto. Your life, your money is the show. We talk about those things, your life and your money, funnily enough. (laughs) And you can uh, visit Kelvin's website at askkelvin.ca. That's ask, K-E-L-V-I-N dot C-A. And don't forget his phone number, 416-457-7526. That's 416-457-PLAN. Why? because it's good to have a plan. And that's what we've been talking about. And that's what we do talk about on the show is how to plan for those needs that you have in your life, whether it's an immediate need, whether it's something down the road, whether it's your retirement, and whether it is, you know, maybe your kid's education, or any number of things that you're worried about, and that you have to plan for in your money life. And as we started off the show, we were talking about the future of financial advising and the future of where people are getting their advice from and a survey that says that one in five Canadian investors plan to switch their wealth providers coming up this year and that is a a, a big move for a lot of people and a lot of people are doing it for different reasons one of the reasons Kelvin touched on in the last segment and that was the baby boomers are looking for someone with a little bit more of a personal touch and they're looking for um to to 
break free of the banks and find someone who is more of a personal financial advisor. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, Kelvin hinted that he's going to be talking to us about millennials in this segment. And I'm interested in that because I'm one of these geriatric millennials. <laughs> I'm the, I'm the older end of the millennial bracket. And um, obviously, you know, we don't have all the same needs as baby boomers, we find ourselves, like mm -hmm. I was mentioning, Kelvin, in the previous segment, you know, baby boomers are finding themselves either in retirement or approaching retirement, and they find themselves with the needs of their parents and their kids, while the millennials right. are their kids. And what are they doing? What are we doing with our finances and where are we looking to move going forward? Well, we always think of millennials as the computer people. They want everything mm -hmm. online and stuff. Well, when it comes to money, interestingly enough, they want what their parents want is more the human touch. Really? And the survey, yeah, I was really shocked because I thought to myself, man, you always hear these millennials, they want everything online and mm -hmm. you know, they live in the now generation. If they go to McDonald's and they, lie and they have to wait two minutes for a Big Mac, they're bad. <laughs> well, it's not true with money because what happens is 42% of millennials want a hybrid. They want personal person plus the computer thing. And I think as we go forward, the firms that, um, that can manipulate this, not manipulate, but can solve the problem of having in-person um, meetings along with doing things on DocuSign and think te being technology savvy, or the the firms and the advisors that's gonna that's gonna win out. Now I don't talk too much about the firm I work with and stuff like that because I, I really don't. But in this instance, I gotta say the firm that I work with are very technology savvy. They spend a lot of money on getting things done right because you know, as the uh, when we look at millennials, it's our, it's written now that they want a hybrid. They want the guy, the person. And they want the computer. So the so I believe our firm is really doing a great job with that. You know, as the pandemic, um, you know, ultimately recedes, people are going to want, you know, things are going to be different. It's going to take different shapes. Some clients will want in-person meetings back on the books again, while others will appreciate the convenience of a video call with Zoom or that stuff that we do every Sunday, like, you know, we do every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Um, so wealth firms will have to prioritize their improvements to get a hybrid mo model. And I think the advisors that you know, belong to those firms should do really well. And the clients that belong to that should do well. So it's, uh, you know, the pandemic has really changed, as you know, everything. Um, you know, I mean, when cinemas open back up and everything opens back up again, like it's going to. It, it'll change the way we do things. And financial services is no different. And, you know, interestingly enough, we talk about retirement, right? And we want to retire that day when we're 60 or whatever. But I was reading an article that says, you know, there's a shortage of job, like of people, like skilled people. Mm -hmm. So maybe the guy that wants to retire, you know, might be a hybrid of retired plus working and enhance their financial situation and so on. So that's where the advisor comes in place because we can look at things like your tax bracket, where you're gonna be, should you take on a part-time job, shouldn't you, what should you do, that kind of stuff. And that's what I think people are looking for um, when I speak to clients. Remember I say, I call my clients every three and a half months just to see how they're doing, give them an update on their money. So a lot of discussion is coming up on, you know, do I retire, do I have enough? Um, you know, this is what my life looks like. And we, as the independent advisors, we know all those things about our clients because they tell us the robo guy, uh, you know, those quest three things and all you hear about, well, they don't know that robo computer don't know. Right. And that's something that those types of services can only provide one half of that hybrid, right? They can't provide the balance that you need and that I think millennials are looking for, especially mm -hmm. you know, millennials are looking for something that they can see. They can check their updates online. They can, they can see things. And I know that just from my own personal experience, whether it's saving money, whether it's uh, paying off my student loan, as I did back in the day, uh, you know, it's so much easier to do these things di uh, digitally 
because you can see certain things in there and you can actually see the uh, the changes being affected. You can see that balance mm-hmm. going up or that balance going down, whatever it happens to be, whether you want it to go up or to go down and being able to actually see it on your screen helps you a lot. And I don't know if it's a, a sort of the reward uh, mindset that are, are we've been programmed with from playing video games our entire <laughs> lives. It started yeah. with Mario, and it's uh, and it it's uh, moved its way into Kelvin the Money Guy. But uh-huh. we have our our financial our finances at our fingertips, and we're able to see it. But it doesn't help us from you know, protecting ourselves from what we don't know, right? It doesn't help us from being able to do things irrationally out of fear. And whereas that's where the other half of that hybrid comes into effect, having a physical person that we can call to do a quick zoom call with Kelvin, the money guy, and you're able to get in touch with him and discuss things. And he can say, no, whoa, 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 you may want not want to do that. Or, Hey, you know what, this is a really good move and this is what's going to work for your finances. So it's one half to be able to log on and see something. It's another half have to be able to log on and actually talk to a and human being them. who knows what they're doing. Right. And remember, I say, God gave us two ears and one mouth. So we <laughs> listen a lot. The global guy don't listen to nothing. Right. Right. It's funny you brought up Super Mario because this week, um, uh, a, a Super Mario package, and this original package from 1996, just sold for 1.2 million. I saw this and it was so funny. My wife said, what do we have that's not opened? And I wish I could tell you that I had anything that was not open because to, to think about the sort of forethought and you wouldn't know necessarily, you can know, know. what a big game is going to be, say a new Call yeah. of Duty or Assassin's Creed or one of these video games is going to come up and you can say, hey, this is going to be a good investment plan, right? <laughs> <laughs> my, my retirement plan is I'm going to buy video games and leave them wrapped in a, in a safe somewhere <laughs> and well, hope that one of them is going to be worth millions of dollars one day. Well, that's funny. My son Jordan, he uh, I think about a few months ago heard about somewhere on the end about Yu Gi Oh cards. I don't know if right, yeah, yeah. I was a magic and, card guy myself. If that <laughs> if anyone and he has those, yeah, and he has these original, I think, that um, in the same package. And I think I think they're worth like a thousand bucks or something. Wow. So it seems like this, it seems like uh, this generation, you know, they're buying things like running shoes and things yes, like that's that. true, yeah. Because in 30 years, it might be worth, I don't know, millions, who knows? You know, when you think about, you know, your your investment balance and your portfolio, you know, you should have some stocks, you should have some bonds, you make sure you've got your RSPs and your TFSAs. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want some hard assets in there as well, some running shoes, a video game, maybe a (laughs) a record, some vinyl still in the cellophane, something like that. And then you you hold it on to that as part of your retirement (laughs) plan. And, and you know, it's funny because uh, nearly three quarters of the people that were surveyed, 73%, they're more, they want now more stuff like um, uh, investments that are environmentally mm-hmm. friendly, that are social, you know, they want governance on priorities on um, stuff like that. So they're primarily focused on the environment and half, half of the people surveyed said their advisors don't yet understand those concerns. And I'm guilty of that myself because we're, stri- we're starting to see firms, investment firms, mutual fund dealers, insurance companies now launch these um, ESG funds that are environmentally safe. And in fact, there's a shift on the, in the, um, like in the Dow Jones and the TSX and so on. They're getting rid of the, like I mentioned last show, they're getting rid of the Enrons and so on. And they're putting in Facebook and all that kind of stuff. So it's a big fundamental change in what's happening in the in the world. And I think that's what the investors are looking, that's why they say one in five are looking to switch to wealth provider because they want to align their personal values with their investments. So the firms that you know do that kind of stuff for the advisors, I think will will win out at the end of the day, you know, and the clients will win, right? That's so. interesting. And there's there's so much that will play into that because that investment as you know, as a uh, 
as an investment company is putting together their mix and they put together a, a fund that is based on the environment mm-hmm. because that's what people want to invest in. They're investing a little bit with their money, but also with their heart and with their mind looking forward to the future and looking to their children's future. There's also uh, that money turns into something, right? When you're investing in a, in a company or a fund, that's investing back into research and development. That's That turns into real jobs down the road, hopefully, and that turns into real mm-hmm. products and real services that change the way that we live our lives. And that's right. really, ultimately, that is that is using capitalism and the open market and the free market towards some of those positive changes. And you can see where millennials especially are on, on track with that. Mm-hmm. So investors in Canada were changing, you know, and probably after the breakout, touch on a little bit of that of why we as Canadians are changing um we still want our return on our, our money obviously we still want to double up every eight to ten years but we're changing the way that we're seeing things so maybe after the break we'll talk a little bit about that we'll talk about how Canadian investors are changing you know this uh jumping off from a conversation based on this survey that's telling us one in five investors plan to change firms, why they're planning to do that, what they're looking for in the personal touch, in the technological touch, the hybrid of the two, and what they're looking for in where they put their money and plan for their retirement and plan for their future and plan for their money life going forward. That's all coming up with Kelvin, the money guy. AskKelvin.ca is the website. That's ask K-E-L-V-I-N.ca. And don't forget, you can call them anytime at 416 416- Four five seven seven five two six. That's four one six four five seven. Plan. Stay tuned to your life, your money here on Global News Radio six forty Toronto. You are listening to a paid commercial program. Unless otherwise identified, the guests on the program are employees of or otherwise represent the advertiser. The opinions expressed therein are those of the advertiser and do not necessarily reflect the views and policies of Global News Radio 640 Toronto. And welcome back to Your Life, Your Money right here on Global News Radio 640 Toronto. I am Chris Creston, joined as always by Kelvin, the money guy. Don't forget to visit his website, askkelvin.ca. That's ask, K-E-L. V I N dot C A. Don't ask Google, ask Kelvin, <laughs> ask Kelvin dot C A. And you can always call him too. That's the great thing about a real person. You can call him on the phone, 416 457 7526. That's 416 457 plan. You know, Kelvin, I talked earlier in the show about how I'm moving soon and mm-hmm. how uh, you know there's so many things you need to change your address for. And it's just uh, you go online and you try and do it. And honestly, maybe I'm a dinosaur. I said I'm a geriatric millennial, (laughs) but I find it's so much easier sometimes to just get on the phone with someone. And it's nice to actually talk to a real human being. And even after I got my online confirmation with a lot of things, I'm still calling up and I'm calling up the the city to make sure things are set up. I'm calling up the hydro company to make sure things are set up and say, hey, I know I got the confirmation. The people on the phone why are you calling right now? What are you doing? What, don't you yeah. know that this is online? I know. I just need to confirm it because I don't want to yeah. show up at my house and the water doesn't work. But there, are, that's part of that hybrid model. You're able to enter in your information. You're able to do so much online, but then it's nice to actually reach out and communicate with a human being. And that's something that we've been talking about as we're discussing what the future for uh, how Canadians access their finances and access their financial advisors, that hybrid model being able to use technology, but also have a real human being on the other Mm -hmm. end of the phone. And and you know, it's funny you say that because when you deal with an independent financial advisor, a human being, if you move, whatever may happen in your life, you make one phone call to myself, my assistants, whoever, and it's done for you. And you never have to worry about it. So you can go on your life and have fun, right? And that's some of the advantages when you deal with a live person. And not only that, I mean, anything that happens in your life, in your money life, you call me and tell me you're buying a car, leasing a car, you you want mortgage insurance, you want your mortgages due. Whatever you're going to spend a dollar on, you're going to pick up the phone and call me and I'm going to refer you to someone or um, to make sure that you do it properly and that you don't have to think about it. There's too much in life to worry about, you know? Mm -hmm. So if the independent financial advisor can take away 
that kind of stuff from you, then you have more time and more freedom to go and enjoy your life. And the pandemic has taught us that we need to go and enjoy our lives. We've been locked up for 18 months. We need to go and have fun and don't worry too much about things. But Canadian investors are changing, especially the younger ones. You know, what's happening is, and when I say younger, I mean you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean like 10 years, but for you. What's <laughs> happening is uh, increasingly they want investments to align with their, not only their financial goals, for example, we know we still want to double up our money every eight to 10 years, but they want to align their financial goals with their values, with the environment, with all the changes that are going on. We look at all the fires and all the stuff happening in the world. And, you know, there's probably truth that, that the environment is changing. So we are, as Canadians, are aligning our goals with our values. And the wealth management firms and advisors, you know, we have a very critical role to play in helping investors to do this. And we can't, we can't uh, afford to wait for our clients to ask us about that. We have to initiate those kind of talks, you know. Um, and like I say, I'm guilty of it myself. But like everything else, you know, you have to change. We've got to change the way, the way we do things. Darwin said, if you don't change, you die. So me personally as an advisor, changing those kind of things. Um, and now there's been these ESG funds that's been around for quite a while where you don't lose the performance of the old funds. You know, you still get the, in fact, maybe better performance uh, with some of those funds with less fees. And so now your, your, your goals, your financial goals are aligned with your values. So we're changing the way we do things. And I think when we look back in five years now, or actually when we look back from 2030 to now to 2020, 21, a lot of things will have happened to us. And if we don't change how we do things, we'll be left behind from what I see. And these are, and this is what the surveys are telling us is that's what's happening. Yeah. And you know, it's always something that I, I think that people had in the past thought, and it was probably true in the past was that there really is that the idea of investing with your conscience and investing with your values was really a rich man's game. It was, that was the kind of thing that was meant for someone who could afford to lose some money, but right. we're seeing that that's not, that's not the case anymore. And we're seeing actually high performing, uh, packages, high performing, uh, funds that are actually, um, connecting with those values that people have and people can put their money where their heart is in a lot of cases. Yeah, so you're getting both now. You're getting mm -hmm. your you're getting your return, and you're helping the planet out, and you're helping you know. And and we look at our kids and their kids and so on. Yeah, it's that fundamental change that's happening. So this decade is the decade of change, and this decade, I firmly believe that if we change the way we do things, you will double and triple your money by the time we hit 2030, 2031, which really is not that long ago. You know, it's not that far away, right? Yes, that's very soon. And that's the thing. And that's where we hope to be. We, we want to make sure that we're doubling our funds because, you know, you can have all the values you want and you can have all the hearts you want. Yeah. You're only going to be putting your money where your heart is if that actually grows your money. Uh, ultimately, we're not most of us can't afford to throw money away and no. to see to make sure that it's on track. Having an independent financial advisor is important because they can not just, you know, not just think they can think beyond where your feelings are and they can look right. at it and say, well, listen, this is performing this way. We can balance it out a little bit here, balance it out a little bit there. Look at the tax implications because that's always a huge part of all of that. And, mm -hmm. and actually with your retirement in mind, take care of your today so you can plan for your tomorrow on your own. And also so you can live and enjoy yourself because yes. what's the point of having any kind of money or any kind of income if you can't enjoy yourself? Exactly. So, and that's, you know, I say that from day one of these shows is that you only live once. Mm -hmm. Save for your, you know, like align yourself so that you accomplish some long-term retirement goal, but also have some short-term goals that you want to, that you want to do. Because if you can, if you can achieve the short-term goals, you certainly can achieve the long-term. So I think those are the things that, you know, for people that are listening, if you don't have an advisor, give me a call. But if you have an advisor, call them, sit down with them and, and embrace all the changes that are happening in the world. 
um, it's, you know, it's, it's a really good time to realign yourself, I think, right now. And maybe after the break, we can maybe chat a little bit about that. But uh, yeah. And a good time to realign yourself. Also a good time, like you said, Kelvin, to take a break. AskKelvin.ca if you want to reach out to Kelvin, you want to listen to past shows, you want to take advantage of all kinds of content on his website. That's Ask. K-E-L-V-I-N dot C-A, or you can call them anytime. If you've got an advisor and you want a second opinion, if you don't have an advisor, 416-457-7526. That's 416-457-PLAN. More of your life, your money, coming up on the other side of the break here on Global News Radio, 640 Toronto. You are listening to a paid commercial program. Unless otherwise identified, the guests on the program are employees of or otherwise represent the advertiser. The opinions expressed therein are those of the advertiser and do not necessarily reflect the views and policies of Global News Radio 640 Toronto. And welcome back to Your Life, Your Money right here on Global News Radio 640 Toronto. Don't forget, you can always listen back to past shows on the podcast and you can always visit Kelvin's website, askkelvin.ca. That's ask, K-E-L-V-I-N dot C-A. And you can call him anytime. 416-457-7526. That's 416-457-PLAN. Don't worry if you didn't get a chance to write that down. I will be throwing those numbers out in that website out at the end of the show as well. And right now, 416-457-7526. That's 416-457-PLAN. And Kelvin, we've been talking about you know the future of financial advisors, finance, the experience of the client, and where we're, where we're going and what we're looking for. And so, Kelvin, if we can sort of reiterate a little bit of what we've talked about through the hour today, um, what the future holds for financial planning. So from my opinion, from what I see, is that the, the firm, the financial firm and the advisor that could embrace the technology with the investor will do very well in the, next, in, in the future. And the future may be now or maybe in a few years from now. It's like, it's like when pizza met technology. And what I mean by that is when Domino's pizza hooked up with technology, they surpassed everyone in the States and they became the pizza place that you want to buy because they could deliver a pizza to you in 15 minutes. So if the investor can meet technology and the firm, we'll do very well with our money. Like I say, people leave investment firms not for costs. We think it's because commercials tell us that, Mm -hmm. but in reality, it doesn't. 26% 26% of investors that leave their firm or their advisor leave because of performance. And they leave because there's no communication with the client. So what people want is they want to see performance, of course, but they want those performance to align with their goals, with their values, and they want communication verbally every I would say four months or so from their financial advisors and the robo advisors don't give you that. And I think this pandemic, we've been so isolated. We've been on our own and to have that voice on the other end of the phone or on the other end of that zoom call has been a lifeline for a lot of people, not just because we're lonely, but because we need to know that there's someone there handling something for us. And we need to know that someone is there helping us out. And there's only so much you can do with a a robot and a sort of a gamified Mm -hmm. version of investing. Right. You know, it's funny you say that because I remember back in March, April, calling clients last during the pandemic first Mm -hmm. happened. Right. And our big talk was about my money. I'm going to lose all my money, blah, blah, blah. Should I take it all out and so on. And as the four months or the quarters kept on going, the conversation was less about money, but it was about how they're doing. Mm -hmm. How long is their hair growing and their beard, (laughs) things like that, their nails and stuff like that. So it was more of a human touch than anything else. So you're, you know, you're, you're totally right. We need that communication from another human being is what we need. Yes, we can do all the zooming and all that kind of stuff, but you're right. You're, I, when I think back to the last 18 months, conversations with clients, it's been less and less about money, but it's been more and more about them. Are they getting the vaccine and that kind of stuff, you know? So we need, we really need this. So 
And it's it's interesting because it, it, you know I I remember when we first met and I talked to you about and we were in the same room. Can you believe it? In the same room <laughs> with another person, and we were uh, and we're doing that more and more now. Again, thank God. But we, uh, we I asked you, you know, how what's the average? You know, when you sit down with a client, what's the first meeting about? And I remember what you said to me. You said, you know, I just asked them about their life. I asked them about their family. Asked them about what they like, what their mm-hmm. dreams are. And yeah. it's not about, you know, let me see your tax return right away or anything like that. Yeah. Let me see what your investment portfolio looks like. Right. And that's and that I don't really worry about too much. I worry about you. You know, are you living well? How's things going? And then the money part, it's very important because that's going to get you your that's going to get you to your goals. But you really need to look at you and every individual is different. We all have different goals or health issues, things like that. So we need to get that out of the way first. And you need, and I need to know about you and you need to know about me. And if we align, then we move on. If we don't, that's okay too. But that's what I look for with people. Because so for me, this is not a job, right? It's not a nine to five or something like that. It's something that's part of me. That's what I do. And that's why on these shows, I give up my cell number. Like that's my personal cell number. So it might be crazy, But you know what? I put myself in the other person's shoe and say, if you were looking after my money, I I want to talk to you, not to your assistant or third party, but I want to talk to you. And you got to respect, you know, people's time and everything else. But yeah, that's that's what I do. And that's why the name of the show is, like you said, it's your life, your money, because they intertwine, right? And yeah, and uh, you know, if it matters to your life, it ma- it costs a little bit of money. And if it matters to your money, it's something to do with your life. And I, that cell number, I should probably give it out again right now. That number, and don't abuse it, people. Just <laughs> don't call just to say hi. But if you've got some some uh, financial uh, questions, you want to talk to Kelvin about where that intersection meets between your life and your money. That cell number is four one six. Four five seven seven five two six, and uh, you know it's got a it's got a good uh, uh, it, it it's a good number because it also spells out a word, and so it's <laughs> a cell phone number, but it also is a perfect number for his business. It's four one six four five seven plan. That's four one six four five seven seven five two six four one six four five seven plan, and Kelvin, you know I think that that's pretty apt because you know a, a plan is what is all you really need yeah you know and it's every part of your life whatever you you wish to do not just about money but everything else you've got to have a a written plan they say what gets monitored gets done so write things down Mm -hmm. write it down and you'll get it you know typically an investor has three advisors when they're growing up so in their 30s 40s 50s typically it's them a bank and an independent advisor and As they get older, they switch to an independent advisor because they realize they need one person to look after all their money life. So that's really what's happening. So there's a fundamental shift in investors that's happening now. Moving towards that independent investor, and that is the future that we're looking at as people are making changes, changing away from, you know, we need the big banks, but uh, there's only so much that they can do. And, you know, the, that the technology is great, but there's only so much it can do. And the hybrid with a personal financial advisor that has the services and the access to technology is really what you're looking for and what most investors are looking for right now. And that is what we've been talking about here today. And Kelvin, unfortunately, we're out of time and time flies when we're having (laughs) fun and having a good conversation. And I hope everyone out there enjoyed this conversation as well. You know what, we do this show for you and I'm really glad that you're out there listening. And if you need to reach out to Kelvin anytime. Don't forget, it's askkelvin.ca. That's his website, askkelvin.ca. And that phone number, 416-457-7526. That's 416-457-PLAN. Stay tuned to Global News Radio, 640 Toronto. The preceding was a paid commercial program. Unless otherwise identified, the guests on the program are employees of or otherwise represent the advertiser. The opinions expressed therein are those of the advertiser and do not necessarily reflect the views and policies of Global News Radio 640 Toronto.